Ayo, what's up guys? Today. I'm gonna be showing you how I time remap my clips. I'll try to explain my thought process as best as I can. I'm gonna be using the knife pull out animation from this clip as an example. The first thing that I do before time remapping, is I expand the track that the clip is on. Make sure that it is huge enough that you can see the thumbnail of the clip. This image is the thumbnail. The next thing that we need to do, is open time remapping. To do that, right click the clip, click show clip keyframes, time remapping, then speed. You should see a line pop up on your clip. This is equivalent to the speed of the clip. Currently, the speed is at 100%, which is the default speed. If I raise the line, the speed increases, which makes the clip go faster. If I lower the line, the speed decreases, which makes the clip go slower. Just the basic stuff. Now I'm gonna be showing you how I play around with the velocity. I'm gonna be using the knife pull out animation from this clip as an example. The first thing that we need to do, is add a keyframe to the frame where the pullout animation starts. But first, let me explain to you how keyframes work in Premiere Pro time remapping. If you control left click anywhere on the line, it adds a keyframe. This is a keyframe. What it does, is it just basically parts the line in two, so you can change the speed of one side of the line, without interrupting the other side. Now let's get back to the tutorial. The first thing that we need to do, is add a keyframe to the frame where the pullout animation starts. When this knife turns white, that's basically where it starts. After placing a keyframe, lower the speed to 10%. I personally like lowering it to 10% but if you like it higher or lower, it's really up to you. After lowering the speed, we need to add a ramp to make the transition from fast to slow smoother. All you have to do, is hold the right wing of the keyframe, then drag it to the frame where you want the slow motion to start. Think of it as like a butterfly. This is the left wing, and this is the right wing. And this line right here is the body. This is how the clip should look like. While you're dragging the right wing of the keyframe, two frames should show up. The first frame is where the left wing is at, and the second frame is where the right wing is at. In my case, I want to start the slow motion at this exact frame. When you press play, your video should look like this. It already looks pretty good, but we can make it even smoother. If you click on the white line above the ramp, you should see a line pop up in the middle of your ramp. That's why it is necessary to expand the track, because if the track is not expanded enough, the line won't show up. You can rotate the line to make the transition smoother. Try playing around with it so you can see how it works. Now that everything is done, the next step is to just add Twixter to the clip to make it smoother. Here's another clip of me doing the same thing. Try analyzing it. I'm gonna be using the sheriff pullout animation from this clip. So yeah, 
That's basically how I edit the velocity. If you analyze my edits, I also do velocity transitions from clip to clip. Take a look at my 8 letters edit for example. As you can see, the knife pullout animation was slow at first, and then it becomes faster before transitioning to the next clip, and then the clip becomes slow again. And so on and so forth. This is basically how your timeline will look like when you're editing the velocity. Cut and sync the clips to the beat. Then add the keyframes and the ramps. Then add more keyframes at the end of each clip. Increase the speed back to 100%, then add a ramp. And you're done. So yeah, that's it thanks and goodbye.